Right, I'm going to show you how to install radiator valves. Thermostatic valve, this one is a Danfoss, and a lock shield with a drain off. First of all, I want to make sure this is open. So give the spindle a turn, anti clockwise. Make sure the drain off end's closed. Take the tail, and you want some PTFE. Give that one, two, three, four, five. About ten wraps onto the tail. Uh, the drain off is on this side. So just tighten that into there. Make sure that most of the thread goes in. It's, it's never. It's always best to get all the PTFE inside. Same with the thermostatic side. Take the tail, about 10 wraps of PTFE. That'll make a good watertight seal. Just bed it in there a little bit. Now the thermostat should always go on the side that is most exposed to the room. Doesn't want to be stuck in a corner, doesn't want to be up against a window or up against the door, it wants to be into the room that it's heating so that it has the best effect. Get that in there so you don't see any of the PTFE. Now I've already put the pipes in, this is a thermostat side. This is your fitting that's going to take the 10 mil pipe. You're going to crush that onto the pipe eventually to make a watertight seal. Now this is 10 mil copper. The best way to bend 10 mil copper is either with bending spring or a pipe bender like this. You can use the bending spring today. If you try and bend that without using one of those, it's highly likely you're going to kink it. You could always bring the pipe straight up out of the floor, but they do get in the way when you're hoovering. They get knocked, they get banged, they leak. Best way to do bring it hard up against the skirting board, offset it forward. So I'm just looking at the height of that. Put the spring down the pipe. Now this radiator is a double panel with a double fin, so the valve sticks out a fair way from the wall. So you're gonna have to start your offset fairly low down. it about two inch from the floor bring it forward and then up to the valve make it in line with that tail pull the spring off give it a twist just to expand it off it comes uh, you're gonna need a 10 mil pipe cutter Rather than a, a, um, a hacksaw, these leave a lot better finish. The valve back on. Check where that lands. It's not a bad idea to have a, an idea of how far the pipe does go into that fitting. But if you do the top of the thread, you're not going to be far wrong. There's always a little bit of movement in the pipe. So I've marked that. As you can see, it was a nice clean finish. That then goes into the valve. Make sure that's pushed fully in onto the radiator. Now, what you need to do now is tighten those up. Just give them a bit of a nip. Always hold against yourself. You're likely to spin the valve and kink the pipe. 
you don't need to overdo it. Just sort of hand tighten a bit more. That's plenty. Give that a bit on it. Check it straight. Perfect. With a TRV, you need to put the head on. Take the cover off. TRVs are, diff are all different. This is a Danfoss. Make sure the, mark, the customer can see the mark. Click it over. I'll hand tighten that on, and that's your thermostat all ready to go. The lock shield on the other side is pretty much exactly the same. Put it on, off, look where it is, offset the pipe into the bottom. That's a nut and olive. Same thing as in there, tighten it up, onto there. Get the bending spring. <coughs> as I say, don't try and bend it without a bending spring or <coughs> a pipe bender, you'll just kink the pipe. <coughs> so try and mirror the other pipe. Kick it forward, up to the centre of the tail. It's a bit lower, so I'll just open it up a little bit. That's better. Twist the, oh, twist the spring so it opens it so it comes off easier. Put the valve back on. And so, check it. About top of the thread. Cut it with the slice, pipe cutter, 10mm. This is an adjustable one. It will go up to 15mm. Make sure the olive square in there. Push that right down onto the pie, onto the tail. Give them a bit of a nip up. You can manipulate this 10 mil a bit so it looks nice and straight. against yourself when you're tightening this nut otherwise if that valve moves it's going to keep the pipe and damage it. You don't need to overly tighten them. And that's it. Offset's done. All connected, now all we need to do is fill it with water, test it.